Welcome to another episode of Rio's how-to video series. I'm Russell Miller with Rio Products. Today I'm going to show you how to fish a streamer from the bank. I think a lot of people get caught up in fishing streamers out of a drift boat and that's the only way you can do that. Um, I'm here to show you today how much fun it can be and how intimate it can be fishing streamers from the bank. On the reel, I've got the Rio sink tip line in the 24 foot version. We do a 15 foot version but Based on the water we're fishing here on the Henry's Fork, I've opted for the little bit longer length, which is going to allow me to slow my drift down in some of these great runs that are on the fork. Off of that, I've got our PowerFlex Plus tippet material in the 7.5 foot version. I trim off just a little bit as I tie on my heavy tippet here, um, PowerFlex Plus in 1x and 3x. Again, the gear gets really simple, and the flies are the same way. This is all I carry with me. I have a box of some of my favorite streamers, and then I pick up some ones from the shop, from, get some of the local intel from the guides, and get a variety of different sizes and colors that have been working for them. I'm excited to run through the rigging with you here, and mostly get out on the water because it is a perfect day for streamer fishing. So just to take a look at how I've rigged up my setup here, um, off of my sinking tip line, I've got my stout leader, down to a blood knot with a little bit of 1x tippet, and I've tied everything off of a dropper here. So I've gone with two smaller ones and I've tied it off of a tag. So this is a triple surgeon's knot with the tag end left long down to another fly. And what this allows me to do is have equal pull between the two flies. So if they eat this small one, it pulls and I feel it right in my hand and it feels the exact same way when they eat the back one. I feel that pull equally regardless, right? I don't like to tie it off the bend of the hook, right? They swim independently a little bit better, and I think I get a lot more action out of these small flies in particular. So I'm going to go continue to work through this run a little bit here with this setup. So now we've talked through some of the rigging. I'd like to show you how I like to fish this when I'm wading into one of my favorite pieces of water. Um, and there's great streamer water everywhere, and you don't have to be in a boat to fish it. It's very intimate to stand in the river, knee to thigh deep, and really work a piece of water and you can be far more effective on foot than you can be in a drift boat. So my first cast I'm going to make when I step into the run, I like to fire one across the river and just let it ride. Let it swing. I keep my rod tip high. This gives me a good idea of the pace of the river and how my flies are going to fish in there. I like to keep the line in between my fingers here. It gives me a lot of sensitivity and I'll see this rod tip dive if I get a strike or if I find a little bottom. Now that we're on the inside edge, I'm going to start stripping in so my flies don't end up just dying on the edge. My next cast, I'm going to change things up a little bit. I'm not going to move at all. I'm going to make the same cast quartering across. This time I'm going to add some animation to my flies. One of my favorite things to do is just bump the line. Bump. Drop. And you can do big bumps, you can do small ones. This keeps the flies riding really nice, but adds a lot of action to the flies. And as they come into that edge there, that last cast I found a little bit of weeds, I'm going to start stripping in again. Avoid those weeds. And you can change how your flies fish based on where you land your flies. If I were to cast straight across here, I'm going to find my line gets very, very deep and snags, right? If I'm in a very deep hole, it's very effective to go across. If I'm in a shallower piece, I'm going to fire a cast downstream more keep my flies a little bit higher. But everything's fishing really well here. I'm going to make the exact same cast and I'm going to work a little different retrieve this time. I'm going to go a little bit faster and I'm going to do our standard streamer strip retrieve, right? Strip it in, simulates a little fleeing bait fish coming out of its hole and really ripping across the surface here. Strip it in, no really aggressive fish on that cast. I'm going to make the exact same cast quarter downstream. This time I'm going to slow things down a little bit. Do a little choppy figure eight retrieve. I've got the line pinched in between my index, my middle finger and my thumb for sensitivity. And I'm just going to build a coil of line and work those flies in. Once I've done that, I feel like I've effectively covered this piece of water. I'm going to take a couple steps downstream and continue working down the run. Right? This cast, I'm going to do a little bit of, bump it a little bit, strip it a little bit, maybe a little hand twisting, vary it up. That's the beauty of streamer fishing. Each cast can be different. You can experiment a lot, and you can key in on what fish like. Sometimes fish like a dead drift. 
Sometimes fish like it really fast. So keep changing up the variety of the pace you're doing it. The other thing I think is really important to mention here is I like to let the river dictate how I fish, right? In really fast water, I move the flies minimally, right? Because the water is going to fish my flies very effectively. In really slow water, if I were to do nothing, my flies are going to find the bottom really quickly and I'm going to find a snag and be a little disappointed. So I tend to move my flies quicker in slower water and slower in faster water. And that allows the, the river to really fish your flies uh, and, and let you do less work, which is great. The other thing you're going to notice I'm doing as I'm fishing is I'm building coils of line on my retrieve here, right? A few strips and a coil on each side. The beauty of the, the streamer tip line I'm fishing here is that it's a floating rear section which keeps this line on top of the water and allows it to shoot very easily. If I build two small coils, when I'm casting I let the first one go and then on my second false cast I let it go and everything lifts out of the water with ease and I never feel like I'm in the weeds or not shooting everything I can shoot. So this is the way I'll work down the run all the way till I feel like I'm out of the really fishy water or the zone and it allows you to cover every inch of water with a variety of different presentations to the fish and have a lot of fun doing it. All right, nice fish on the streamer, good solid grab. Didn't have to worry about setting the hook too hard. Fish ate it nice and aggressively and came right up and overtook the fly. Nice brownie. And this is why streamer fishing can be the most exciting way to catch fish. Well, I hope you guys learned a couple things during this video. And I appreciate you tuning in and I hope you watch more of the Rio how-to video series to find more great fish like this. Awesome. Woo!